What's happening, right? Listen, um, somebody finally took my advice and did what I asked them to do, which was, if you wanna find out anything that's going on in your neighborhood, go to a city commissioner meeting. Now, when they went to that city commissioner meeting, they found out that there was other people outside of their community getting grant money to build so-called businesses that's so-called gonna give people jobs in their community. You see how they'll pump the fact like, okay, you know, um, you're going up on the water bill and this and that. They tell you all this shit, but they'll never promote that you come to a city commissioner meeting. Why? Because they don't want you to come and find out what is going on. The less people that is concerned about what's going on in the neighborhood, the more shit that they can do. Excuse my language. The more things they can get away with. I'm telling y'all, I've known and know city commissioners personally. Yes, they get offered all type of monies. All, all six of all of them have to. I think it's six or five of them. All, I think it's six though. All of them have to agree for something to be passed. And when you become a city commissioner, uh, you have a lot of power in that city. This is where the politics come in. At. And I'm telling y'all, it's all type of stuff going on in your city that you have no idea that is going on simply because you don't go to the city commissioner meetings. And this is the thing, when we used to go to the city commissioner meetings, right, we raised all type of hell. We got kicked out of city commissioner meetings plenty of times. This is when I was 16 years old. We was the little soldiers and we had the big homies over us. This is how I got into a lot of the stuff from a youngin. But what I'm telling y'all is this, let me move down there a little loud. But what I'm telling y'all is this, when you go to a city commission meeting, it'll blow your mind of the stuff that, that is going on in your city that you have no idea that is going on. I'm telling you, we used to get a lot of stores fined because, say like the A-Rail stores and the corner stores, if you could walk in that store and then the kids can look over the counter, right? And when they look over the counter, they see the, the, um, the, the X-rated books and all that. No, nah, we ain't going for none of that shit. Fine, get them took down. They'll come right back up because ain't nobody saying that. If you in your community, bro, and they and you can walk in the store and you see them little nasty books them, and little kids can walk in and see that shit, you should do something about that. This is why we gonna always be where we at if we don't change it for ourselves because they're not gonna do it, okay? If a person or a group of people, I don't give a fuck who it is, come into your neighborhood, they need to respect your neighborhood, not just come get your money and leave. Because I'm telling y'all, a lot of these foreign people, they come here, just for your money. They don't come when somebody who been coming in their store for 20 years die. They don't show up at the front of them. They don't pitch in and say, hey man, here come them some flowers. They don't do none of that. These people are here for business, so don't get it twisted. You get what I'm saying? And we give them all the business that they, that, 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 that they get. You understand me? All that money comes from us. This is why it's imperative and important that we spend with each other, for one. For two, support each other. But for, third, for three, no matter what color you is or what you got going on, Go to your city commission meeting and see what's going on, and see all the stuff that's going on right in front of, right in front of your face. Because what they do is they use the hood to get the money. And when they get the money, which is the hood, is um and check your neighborhood. The hood gonna always be in the southwest. Southwest, whatever, southwest, southwest, that's the hood. That's what Martin Luther King, that's the hood. They're gonna use the hood to get the money, and when they get the money, they're gonna spend it in the northeast or or the or the, um, or the the richer part of your community or, you know, whatever. And this is what they do because no one says anything. We've even had a city commissioner that owned a paint store back in Bell Glade. And what he would do anytime the city needed paint, he would use his store to buy the paint. Not no motherfucking mo. That's a conflict of interest. Because you could overcharge us as the people to buy, to buy this paint out your store. But this is the type of shit that go on. I'm just talking about small stuff. It's a lot of big, big, big big shit that go on in y'all cities that y'all don't have a clue about. Y'all don't know what's, y'all don't understand that. This is why all this crap is even sat up. Man, y'all don't need, you really don't need to go to no city commissioner. When I finish with what I'm doing, 10,000 people donating $10 a month, that's 100,000 a month to change our neighborhood, to change our situation, to bring forth curriculums, to teach our kids, to, to show them how to, to have their own business, to teach them how to, um, address a woman or to address a man or to address a situation we we at an age now where we know what works in this world and what don't work that shit they teach us in school that's bullshit all that shit does is it, it, it stray you away it, it, it brainwashes you and it gets you prepared to be a worker not a boss so what we want to do is 
10,000 people, $10 a month, and this is going to go to our own future. We do not need them. We don't need to be dependent on them. We don't need to be thinking that we need them or need to be dependent on them. We can do it ourselves. And this is what we got to do. And I'm telling you, $100,000 a month, and I'm just saying $100,000 a month, we can raise more than that. But this will go towards each community in that community. So if your community got, hell, it could be a couple, it could be a thousand people. You know what I'm saying? It don't really matter. But y'all will still have an amount of money a month to go towards the things that y'all need to, to be able to better y'all communities. This is what the church is supposed to be doing. Don't get it twisted. God don't need your money. Don't make sense when people say the church and this and they got no the pre the preacher and the pastor they getting your money. If they not cre creating um, better situations for you and your family and your kids and just y'all as a community, I don't see the purpose of doing it. God ain't gonna God gonna tell you all real. I gave you common sense for a reason. You better start using it. If you let these people down here trick you and tell you that God needs your money. That don't make sense. Because most of y'all don't even know what God money is. Paper money ain't God money. That's man's money. Okay? Resources. Silver, gold, water. That's God's money. <laughs> but anyway, and that's free. But when you come to a colonized society where these motherfuckers done came, took, and lied and said, oh, that's a poor country. That, poor, that country ain't poor. It's rich in resources. They just don't want you to know that. But anyway, you need to start going to your city commission meetings, seeing what's going on, and, I, and, and please share these, share these videos, man, because I need help with people sharing these videos, get these messages out there. And hopefully we can get, and I'm not saying all city commissioners are bad, because Miss Kendall, back where I'm from, she was like, she really fought for, for what was best for us. They couldn't take her. But this is what they do. When they find out they got that one city commissioner that's going to fight for the people, they try to get rid of them. They try to get rid of them. See, they want everybody on the same accord. They want everybody to sing to the same song and dance. She wasn't like that, and I commend, I salute her for that. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, it's all a game. I'm going to be honest. You'll never win a game that the devil created to, for you to lose. They'll never give you the resources for you to win. You would never win. That's why no one never won yet. And all I'm just telling you is to go to your city commission meeting just to repeat the game. I ain't saying it's going to change your life, because it's not. It's going to take us to change our life. This is why it's so imperative that we come together. We put our own money up. We don't need their fucking money. The more we go to them, the more we at their mercy, the more they're going to keep ramming it up out you know what. Come on, bro. We ain't, I ain't for that. I know what's real. I know what ain't real. At this point, we know what we need to do, and we need to get out here, and we need to do it. Simple as that. So, again, support Papa Duck. Y'all already know what time it is. I just want to bring y'all this video. So, go to your city commission meeting, man. Peep it. Matter of fact, when you walk in, see how satanically it's shot up with numbers. Remember the number six is the nines, um, the 33s. You know what I'm saying? That's some Masonic stuff, but they all side up satanic. Just go peep it. Go look at the stars. Go look at how everything's positioned. Okay? And then you're going to see what I'm talking about. Okay? It's your boy, Papa Duck. Man, y'all have a blessed day. I'm out. Holla at y'all later. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, come on, come on. What the business is.